So this is Tim, we're at Moon Toast, and on Skype I have with me John Baker, the Director of Analytics, who built our entire uh, analytics platform, uh, which is iterating its way into something that we think is really a game-changing piece of uh, social media monitoring, monitoring, as well as social commerce monitoring. It really marries together uh, social media metrics with commerce, um, conversion rates, visits, revenue, uh, and tries to tie in uh, the ROI of all of the social media efforts that you're putting forth. So without further ado, John, what's up? Howdy. John's in Boston, sunny Boston. Lovely Boston. Lovely Boston. Um, so give us kind of an overview. Just tell us about uh, how the project started out, where... Uh, what you were, where your headspace was, what's the deal? Yeah, so sure. Um, so the idea is that uh, from the analytics uh, product perspective, we are trying to help our customers sell more. And so that, that, that means that not only are we concentrating on them driving traffic to their sites from organic um, sources off the web, but, but social as well. And what that really means is we have to help them use this massive resource, which which is called social, you know, about 800 million people, and to drive further revenue. And so what that means is we have to give them the tools to identify those potential customers. We have to give them the tools to talk to those potential customers, sell to them, and then build that community after the sale. So that's essentially what the product is doing. Yeah. So what... What did you look at in terms of problems with with clients who who maybe had a social media presence, um, maybe were dabbling in social commerce? What kind of dots did you want to connect, and, and how did you address these things in the product? Right. So I think that I think that from an overall holistic perspective, it was that some of these customers, agencies, marketing service providers, they were using a tool over here, a tool in, tool over there. So it was a very ad hoc solution. So we came up with this holistic view of how do we help them through one or two interfaces get this job done. Right. And uh, I'm sure kind of as the project has evolved at least this far, I know that we've had a couple, I wouldn't say pivots, but definitely some, some evolutions, some things that we didn't quite think about. Um, can you just talk about some of those things that might have been surprises and also uh, how customer input kind of shaped what what the product is is ending up looking like. Yeah, so we and we still have this sort of overall goal of um, this development process, but customer customer feedback was very important to us, particularly along the lines of here's the most basic thing that I have to get done. You have to tell me how much traffic I have. You have to tell me how that relates to ROI. You have to tell me how to talk to these people on social. So what we're doing is redefining how as we go forward, we solve those simple problems first, and then the more complex problems later. And one of those complex problems, particularly, which they all like, but is how do I get this product that I have in front of the right person? Well, in order to do that, you have to have a, a very sort of sound foundation to help them, first of all, sell from that foundation, but understand what they sold, who they sold it to, and who is out there so that they can sell to, ideally. Yeah, so a lot of, lot of data collection uh, mm -hmm. just to get that kind of history and, and mapping, I'm sure. The data collection as well as you know, the feedback from customers, and so that, and that's sort of uh, driven us you know, yep. so far. Um, talk a little bit about, um, about tying revenue to social posting. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Um, so the idea, so the larger context here is that uh, on Facebook, uh, I can have fans. And with these fans, I can do things and broadcast to them, talk to them, listen to them, but and Twitter as well. But but that's not the that's not the overarching objective. The overarching objective is I want to send out this post. I want response, but I also want money. And so what we do is we help them track those broadcast efforts back to ROI, which gives us and them an idea of which of that content is interesting. And other things, for instance, like given a product, what's the best time of day, you know, to, um, to broadcast? Who do I broadcast to? You know, there's a strategy for broadcasting to businesses as well as broadcasting to other consumers. Sure. Um, so just just let's back up a little bit away from from the Mutos platform for a second. And just talk okay. high level uh, with your background and and what you've learned maybe up to this point 
as you've been doing a really deep dive into social media analytics, what are some things that you would recommend people check out, even if they're not on the Muntos platform, but what should people kind of be watching to, to learn about with, uh, with analytics with their own social media? Okay, so let me sort of split that into two questions. How do I, how do I understand social media and how do I measure it? And so in order to understand social media, we have to understand how you find those people that want your product. And so that means that if you're not using Moontoast and you're going outside of our platform, how do I start, let's say, engaging with fans? And that would mean that you would just go onto Facebook, you would create a fan page for your product, you would maybe you know, have a, have a section or two on that fan page which showcases your product. You might even use you know, Moontoast to um, sell things through your, your fan page. Um, but you have to get the presence, so you have to establish a foothold first, so getting into the space. Um, and then you have to be able to measure that. So you have to be able, let's say, um, from a Facebook perspective, use Facebook Insights, which gives you a great sort of, um, gives you a great amount of information about who those people are, you know, from a demographic perspective. Um, how far did your post get sent out, in other words, the virality index of your post? And similarly, you know, for the, for the Twitter environment, how do I get in there? How do I build a following? How do I broadcast to them? So the most important thing right now is getting a foothold in both the Facebook side and the Twitter side, and there are other sites as well, and, you know, we'd be happy to share that information with people. But establishing a foothold, broadcasting to them, listening to them, then you can take that, those respective audiences over to Moon, the Moontoast platform, sign up through us, and start broadcasting in an extremely intelligent way. Yep. And, and we've, I think, internally used some tools like TweetReach and, and uh, definitely Facebook Insights just to kind of see what posts might have been the more popular posts, how far did they go, um, mm -hmm. and definitely have built some campaigns just around that type of, of data that we've been able to measure from, from some third-party sites. And I think also, you know, everybody, I think everyone knows, or most everyone knows um, about Google Analytics, you know, who came to my website, um, how did the traffic sort of vary, where did they come from, who, who converted, and, and those percentage of conversions as well. But we all, we do that through one integrated interface um, in Moontoast. So back to the, to the Moontoast Analytics suite, you've done a really cool thing here that um, was kind of challenging to start out, just looking in terms of what do we as a social commerce company find important to measure and how can we uh, use the benchmarks across the different clients that, that we work with um, to kind of come up with, with uh, analytics within analytics. Talk a little bit about what we've done. Yeah, there. yeah. So because we had the luxury of selling um, through our distributed store um, product, we, you know, obviously amass a lot of clientele and they have and they you know they, they have activity they have selling um, patterns etc cetera, etc cetera. so what we decided was we not only want to give you sort of that holistic approach we want to help you understand how well you're doing and so what that means is that we've established um, these proprietary benchmarks which allow you to see you know as you have these campaigns going on whether or not that that campaign is healthy so, for instance, do you have enough stores deployed? Do you have enough stores deployed in certain areas? Are you making enough revenue? Are you making enough conversion? And then we give suggestions um, based on that information about how you could do better. So, in other words, we don't want you to take money off the table. If you're going to start up with us and you're going to use us, we want you to make as much money as you can. Yep. Um, so, in addition to the analytics on top of the analytics, there's also a game component, and that's an area that I think right. we'll be moving into as a company a lot further in December and in January. Um, but it's really become a pretty cool part of where the analytics platform is going. I know that we've had a bunch of really interesting conversations kind of around gamifying analytics and, and giving social media managers a reason to kind of inter, uh, interface with the platform more often and keep coming back. So just talk a little bit about sort of what's, what's up your sleeve with that. Yeah, so, and so the logical extension then of, you know, telling you how well you did is that we would give you badges um, 
for that. For, in other words, in our case, for this, uh, for this rollout, we would be giving you gold medals. So if you did something great, in other words, if you're meeting a certain um, objective along a certain parameter that we, that we suggest with um, our baseline, that we would give you a gold medal. And that would, that would reinforce that sort of idea of not only are you taking our advice, but you're doing something great. And for instance, another logical extension to that could be, for instance, and you and I have talked about this before, for instance, let's assume that you have this, this campaign going on and you know it's in a down market or in, in a recession, and you did particularly well because you, you, know, you used us to understand where those particular customers are, the right customers, uh, offer the right product to them, and you, you let's just say a, a CMO had an outstanding sort of um, campaign, we would give you a, a set of boxing gloves. So, in other words, you fought your way through this. Now, what does that do? That sort of reinforces and, and, and acts as a stimulant to say, you're doing an absolutely outstanding job, and you can show that to other people. Not that you would, not that you would want to brag about it, but it highlights this idea that, you, we gave you these suggestions, you did this great thing, and here's how you were rewarded for it. But we also want to use the, um, that gamification or that game theory to build up engagement. So, for instance, we would use it um, to help you gain, you as a CMO, gain more customers and gain more loyal customers. And so yeah. you have that baked into the product as well. Yeah, and that, that's just a cool thing, I think, uh, just in terms of... of engagement. Uh, I'm really excited personally to to dream up some of what those badges are and really let the moon toast kind of sense of humor shine through and, and surprise people with, uh, you know, with current event badges. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's something I think we're both really looking forward to. Maybe a Kim Kardashian badge or something. Hey, hey now, it's probably <laughs> trademark, so watch out. Um, well, John Baker, thank you so much for uh, joining us today on Moon Toast TV. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking to, with you uh, in the future, especially as we get into uh, December and January, and, and this uh, amazing product that you've started continues to grow and evolve um, and as it comes together more. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I look forward to it again. All right. That's John Baker, our Director of Analytics at Moon Toast. See you next time.